Welcome to Dave's Garage. I'm Dave. This is my garage, and this is R2 D2, my air counterpart. Say hello, R2. R2 and I, over the next 12 episodes, will be showing you how to put together a FX armor kit. Yes, we are going to be showing how to put an FX armor kit together. No, not six episodes, 12. All Star Wars fans know they need more episodes. Six is just not enough. Anyway, after recently missing the uh, 30th year celebration of Star Wars at the LA Convention Center, I know you didn't miss it, I missed it. I spent the weekend surfing the internet, drowning my sorrows in uh, Star Wars websites, and I came across the, uh, the Fighting 501st, or the uh, 501st. This is a Star Wars website which was, uh, or group, which was founded in the 1990s by a gentleman called Albin Johnson. Uh, this organization is now 10 years old and, and it stretches across the globe, all across America, England, Europe, Asia, Australia, South America. This is an amazing group of uh, Star Wars fans. I uh, went on all of the uh, websites that I could, followed all the links, looked at all the forums, went through all of the uh, photo galleries that I could find, trying to find reference, watching people go to all the, all the events, was great fun, but the real, the real thing that kind of pushed me over the edge, which made me want to kind of follow this path was the uh, charity work that this uh, organization does is, is truly remarkable. The trips to children's hospitals or charities or fundraising events, uh, these Star Wars fans giving back to Star Wars fans is just a win-win situation and, and is helping society as a whole. And Star Wars fans get to do the thing that they enjoy the most, and that's be part of Star Wars. So how do you get hold of a FX armor kit or an armor kit? Well, you need to go on the internet. It's obviously a great resource. You can go to eBay. Obviously, eBay has everything. You could buy helmets, uh, weapons, bodysuits, gloves, boots uh, from eBay. But you can also find them at other websites. You can also find some real high quality professional uh, armor makers. Uh, Shepherd and Studios are uh, one of the best from what I gather. But the armor that I'm using is a uh, white armor, which is a uh, uh, quote white armor is fan based armor. It's fan based armor, which means it's made for fans by fans. So. Uh, It's, it's still a good quality uh, armor kit, and from what I gather, a large amount of uh, troopers use this, this armor because of uh, it's, it's good quality. If you go to the websites, you're going to find lots and lots of information about people who have been doing this a lot longer than I have, uh, who have even have the skills to be able to make armor from scratch, and they know what to do, they know what not what to do. I've seen uh, a lot of information about this specific kit, some of the uh, things about this kit, uh, lots of them are very good, the only uh, things that are, are not quite as good as they could be is the instructions, they're good, they're, they're a good source of uh, reference uh, but the instructions are, are really just okay, if you want to build something quickly uh, which may be not as last as long as w what you can produce, uh, you know, we can do better than this. Also a couple of things that come with the kit, we can do, I'm going to do better on. Hopefully the webbing and the velcro, I'm replacing the velcro with a heavy duty industrial and the webbing, I'm actually going to replace that entirely. So we'll get rid of that but we'll also keep it for the convention box. The uh, glue that comes with it is an ABS glue. This is Pretty sure it's a plumber's glue. It sets in about 15 minutes, but it's not fully strength for 24 hours. That's quite a long time to wait. What was recommended on website and 
I found to be really good is this two-part epoxy glue or a plastic glue you can pick up at uh, Wally World. Four minutes and then like 15 minutes and it's at full strength and so I found this to be, this to be much, much better. So you really need to go on the internet and find out lots of this information for yourself. But uh, you will see, as I did, all the many different types of people out there who have built some fantastic costumes. Bubba Fett's and Darth Vader's and Sand People, Stormtroopers, Sand Troopers, Bounty Hunters. Jedi's, whoever they are, I don't know, I'm not quite sure. But what I'm going to go for is uh, the standard guy in the white suit. Though I am going to do a lot of custom work on it just to make sure that it is comfortable and I need to at least be able to work for a couple of hours without actually having any problems and also. The longevity of the costume, I want it to at least last 10 years and still look pretty good. So that's where I'm going to be concentrating on my efforts is on the comfort and of course the appearance, but also the longevity. A few things that you need for this project, which I found helpful. One is an egg timer. Uh, when the glue says it's going to set in four minutes, it will set in four minutes. If you're not ready, you're going to be in trouble. The tape, of course, will help you uh, keep it together and also keep off the glue off the pieces that you, you don't want glue on. A set of clamps, which I picked up from Wally World again. I picked up 16 clamps of different sizes for under four bucks. Really going to be helpful. Scissors are good for trimming uh, small areas, really nice and smooth. Large areas, though, I would still use a, a, a knife. You do need some paint, uh, though stickers do come with the kit itself, but I've seen a lot of people replace it with uh, uh, spray painted. Sandpaper, I have a Dremel, you do need a small drill bit. But like I said, most of the things that come with the kit, I mean the shoulder piece here is going to really add to the kit. The armor itself in the kit, I couldn't be happier with. The quality and the finish on it are superb. This is the first piece that I put together. It's the uh, it's the arm piece. I used um, some idea that I, I got from the internet and replaced some of the Velcro with the heavy duty, and it works very good. But this is the first piece I'll be showing you how to put together. I find it to be the easiest and I'm hoping that you'll find it too and it'll build your confidence like it did mine. The One of the projects that we're, I'm going to actually finish is, is this blaster. It's a weapon of choice, it's, it's not as clumsy or as random as a lightsaber. I kept the uh, sound and actually kept the, uh, the light because uh, I do want to do uh, charity events and if I, you know, involved with children, I know they're going to get a blast from the blaster if it, if it makes a sound. So uh, we're going to finish up that project. We're going to do a piece of armor in each episode. The helmet will probably take a couple of episodes to finish because that is the, probably the most complex part of this, this whole piece. And apart from that, I think we uh, I finished the introduction. Hope you tune in for the next 12 episodes. And I'll, I'll see you uh, episode one. The sleeve. Thank you.